A pleasant welcome to the judies and my dear friends. I am CS Dilip from KPM Metric High Secondary School. I am going to give a small speech on the topic school education today and tomorrow. First of all, what is education? Okay, acquiring knowledge is known as education. The education should be purposeful. Education aims at full development of the human personality. Education is not an end, but it means to an end. We do not educate children only for the purpose of educating them. The main purpose is to feed them for life. The free education is for all. Whether he or she is rich or poor, clever or stupid, one can solve all the problems of the society and build a perfect nation. But we can already see that the free education for all is not enough. The modern education system that we found in India was came by Britishers. In our day to day life, education is an important role for us. So comparing today's and tomorrow's education can be done only quantitatively. This means the quantity of education is same, but the difference is in the amount. For example, the knowledge gained by our parents after graduation will be similar to us after we complete diploma. The, a British person who was the well wisher and promoter founded the Macaulay education. His name was Lord Macaulay. This education was founded by many prominent Indi Indians. Hin the Hindustani Talimi Singh under the chairmanship of Dr. Jahir Hussain was called basic education. I am convinced that today's schools were the deliberately planned to adulterate the sacred system of traditional Indian education. Inventions and advancement in every field has been happening. So the basic education may remain same, but specialist education like in the field of medicines, electronics, etc. has to be acquired by us continuously. Past year education was mainly through books, whereas today's education is through electronic media in addition to books. So we may predict that tomorrow's education may have minimum contribution from books. I would like to say a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. For example, an engineer with little knowledge would build bridges and roads which would quickly collapse causing a great loss of life and property. In my school, there are some good facilities like friendly kind of atmosphere and efficient administration, well equipped science lab and library, huge playground and a good coaching in sports, plenty of extracurricular activities. The quality will always remain as high as it was yesterday only, we should give 100% commitment towards it. Education teaches them and the need and value of recreational activities. In India, only 38% of people can read and write. On 2nd October 1978, the government had started National Adult Education. Our famous Tamil poet Thiruvalluvar had said many Thirukurals related to education. But in this point of view, I would like to say only three Thirukurals. They are Kedil Viluchelvam, Kalvi Uruvarukku, Madalla Matrayavai. Ennanba, Yena Yelthanba, Ivirandum, Kannanba, Walum Uirke, Katka Kasadara Katpavai Katrapin, Nitka Adakutaga. So, do you know, in ancient time, the most common educational system was Gurkul system. In the Gurkul, they learned about philosophy, logic, religion, discipline, Vedas, Upanishads, astrology, medicine, and mathematics. The number of master degrees confirmed has grown immensely since the 1990s and accounts for the highest number of master degrees in the United States of America, that is USA. The world will be a very different place when we die than it was where we born. Education not only has to keep pace with today, but it creates the structures that are flexible enough to adapt for an unknown tomorrow. Education sponsored by IDEE Foundation, that is Information Technology Education and Entrepreneurship Foundation, has ready to bring volunteers all over the world to develop technology for the education tomorrow. To achieve sustainable economic independence through technical education and entrepreneurship, IDEE Foundation had involved in following methods. There are six methods to develop education tomorrow. They are sponsor students, volunteer to teach, email this page to your friends, donate to your company, teacher training and volunteer. We know the change is inevitable, but if we wish to influence the direction of change that we need to have a clear vision of what we would like to see in the future. One's aim should be to have a full knowledge of whatever one learns, so that one can use it confidently for the benefit of oneself and others. Nowadays, students are treating like missions. For example, the school starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. After school, they are going for tuition and come back to home at 8 p.m. Then they got tired and going for sleep without eating. Through this we can understand that their health is spoiling. Through this we can understand that their health is spoiling. So I request the government to reduce the school timings and build a perfect nation for the education tomorrow. 
The present education system has failed to provide gainful employment to its beneficiaries. That's all about my speech. In last but not least, I would like to say education is a process of living and not a preparation for tomorrow's living. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you once again and have a fantastic Friday. So no